It's uh, September 16th, 2020, and we're on telecom again after spending our summer in Vancouver. And uh, Pam and I are just heading off to uh, uh, Silva Bay uh, today. Uh, we've had a lot of forest fires, so it's going to be pretty smoggy. Uh, and we're leaving from Milltown, where we're, due to the pandemic, we've uh, moved the boat from Point Roberts up to uh, Vancouver, and we're lucky enough to get a slip at Milltown, a long-term slip, so that's great. And uh, so uh, that's our plan for today, and uh, we could be getting some nice wind, maybe uh, in the straits, so we're hoping to get uh, uh, maybe uh, 10 or 15 knots in the northwest. Looking at the chart, this is where we are. Red Triangle on the Fraser River. We got about six miles to get up to the mouth of the Fraser River. And once we get up to the mouth of the Fraser River, there's Georgia Strait. We'll be cutting across Georgia Strait. Winds should be coming from the northwest. And uh, so hopefully we'll have a good sail across there. And then when we get across, we'll go into Silver Bay, uh, which is right there. And uh, we've now joined the uh, Vancouver Rowing Club and uh, they have an oat station there. So um, uh, hopefully there'll be space at the uh, dock there and uh, we can uh, turn up overnight, and if not, uh, we'll anchor in this bay here. So that's our, that's our plan for today, and uh, we'll uh, hopefully uh, get a little more footage on the way. Okay. Fraser River. We have about six miles to get to Georgia Strait. Uh, there's a lot of commercial traffic on the river here, uh, log booms especially, and barges, uh, and a lot of logs in the water to watch out for. So now we're crossing Georgia Strait. Uh, got a beautiful northwest wind. Um, halfway across, we uh, encountered a, a group of orcas, and you can see uh, a whale watching boat there over on the port side. Uh, the sailing was great, so we just carried on.
This is day two of our, our uh, September cruise, and uh, we're having a layover day at Silver Bay, and uh, we're here at the uh, Vancouver Rowing Club outstation dock, and uh, one other boat from the rowing club here. And uh, so we're going to take it easy today. So this is uh, the Silver Bay Marina and uh, pretty nice docks. Uh, they have no restaurant. Uh, it burned down a few years ago. You may see remnants up there. There's a boat yard up there as well. I think it's the only boat yard in the Gulf Islands with a uh, marine railway haul out and a small boat lift. Um, so, and this is the bay. And behind us, you can see that it's uh, got a lot of mooring balls. There's not that much room for anchoring. Uh, so, we've never anchored here before. And I think it would be kind of difficult with all those uh, boats uh, on the mooring balls. And there doesn't seem to be much anchoring room. Um, anyways, it's a beautiful spot. There's great kayaking around here and we may go kayaking a little later um, you can see the weather's not very nice this is the uh, fog from the forest fires down in Washington state and uh, so hopefully this is going to clear up with the northwest winds that are predicted and uh, we can have some sunny skies so yeah we're going to head out on a walk shortly and uh, maybe I'll fly, fly the uh, drone a little later as well. So, so that's uh, Silva Bay. So here we are at the Vancouver Rowing Club outstation at Silva Bay. Uh, we've met up with our friends Ken and Deb. Uh, they have a beautifully restored Noon Ocean 34. And uh, so we're going to be carrying on south with them and our next stop uh, will be Telegraph Cove.
We've now arrived at the Telegraph Harbor Marina on Thetis Island. Uh, it's a beautiful little marina, no services here, uh, but it's got beautiful grounds and there's nice walking in the, in the uh, area. There's another marina nearby and that is the Thetis Island Marina and they have a, uh, a pub and a restaurant and a liquor store. So uh, that's uh, a nice, and that's walking distance uh, from where we are. So we've now arrived at the Maple Bay Yacht Club, and this is a, a really charming uh, yacht club uh, with a beautiful clubhouse. Uh, it's a reciprocal club to the uh, Vancouver Rowing Club, and uh, there's a, a nice little pub in town called the Shipyard Pub, which is uh, very nice as well. So at this point, uh, we both go our separate ways. Uh, the Noon Ocean is turning around and heading back north on the way back to Vancouver. And uh, meanwhile, uh, Pam and I will be carrying on further south and our next stop is gonna be Genoa Bay. So this is Genoa Bay, and uh, it is on the north uh, side of Cowichan Bay. It's a beautiful little marina, uh, and uh, it's become one of our favorites. Um, it's, uh, it's just uh, very charming, and uh, a really nice little uh, gourmet restaurant at the dock. There's no uh, city within walking distance. It's a uh, pretty rural setting. But uh, yeah, it's a great little marina.
we've now arrived at Todd Inlet. It's on the uh, south end of uh, Saanich Inlet, and it's right next to Butchard Garden. So uh, it's uh, completely protected anchorage, uh, and uh, it's about a five-minute dinghy ride to Butcher Garden. So it's a it's a great stop, uh, and uh, so we'll be going to Butcher Gardens uh, tomorrow. So after Todd Inlet, uh, we headed up uh, Saanich Inlet and uh, went over to North Pender and stopped at uh, Otter Bay. We'd never been there before. Uh, it's a small marina and on uh, North Pender Island. Uh, so we stayed there one night. It's a nice little marina, uh, but it's uh, pretty exposed to the ferry wakes and uh, we found it pretty rolly. So, uh, uh, so we left the next morning and we went on to Ganges Harbor on Salt Spring Island. And uh, Ganges is one of our favorites. It's a really charming little village there and uh, great docks. And uh, so we uh, spent the night at Ganges and then from there, uh, the next day we headed on to uh, Milltown, our home port. Who am I to think how it be if you were mine? I've been walking with my shades on for so long I can't seem to get them back on 